All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. So, and my boy Christopher the Conch here. So, guys. And we are Break Room Blitz, mm -hmm. baby. Now, we just came back from seeing Beauty and the Beast. Now, I would like to say that as three grown ass men, That's right, man. we should not be going to see no goddamn Beauty and the Beast. But how dare you, bro? How dare you, sir? How dare you? Dare you? This is a classic you're, movie. No, like, fool. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to like, throw you real over men. I mean, I'm not saying like, you, know you need to cry, but I, I saw mean, saw you crying in the dude, movie. You were like, like he's a beast. First of all, like, crying. It's classic. Like crying. You know, all these tears coming the, down the, the, your face. The air conditioner yeah. was on high. Oh wow, yeah, it's really hot in here. Not for real, because I definitely watched this as a kid. It's one of my favorite ones. Uh, favorite Disney movies as a kid, so I had no problem as a grown man going to go see Beauty and the Beast. No problem at all. It's a great movie. So y'all better not be judging us. <laughs> I see you. I see you. Uh, so we all know the premise of Beauty and the Beast. It's pretty much the same story. We got Belle. She is captured by the Beast. They love each other. Boom, he turns into a man. Now, let's see who we got. We got Emma Watson. As Bill. I love you. <laughs> we got Dan Stevens as Beast. We got Luke Evans as Gaston. We got Josh Gad as LeFou. We got Ian McKellen as Cogsworth. We got Emma Thompson as Miss Potts. We got Ian McGregor as Lumiere, the uh, candlestick. candlestick. And Kevin Klein as Maurice. And we got a bunch of people in there. But you just go see the movie, okay? We can't name uh, 20 people. Yeah. That's sure a pretty good cast. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got awesome actors. Right, we shouldn't name this many, but they're all key characters, so here we go. Right. <laughs> Was this better than the original? Did we need a live action movie? You know, I don't know if we needed a live action movie of an already classic movie. But, you know, putting something that was a cartoon in live action. I appreciated it like a lot. <laughs> I loved it. All right. All I right. love so what they you did. You got something that you want to say? I'm, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I loved it a lot. Like I, I was literally smiling. I was watching this just like, and keep in mind I've seen. I love this is one of my favorite Disney movies alongside with the uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, and I saw the the the, the play for this one as well. I saw that. I didn't saw that. <laughs> and um, you know it was just. I, I watched when I watched the play. I was, you know, all dumbfounded too. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed them all. I'm glad I got all three renditions. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I thought that it was a, a great um, rendition of Beauty and the Beast. I didn't have any issues with it. It it was great to me. Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought it was good. I don't know which one I would like more. Probably the cartoon, just because some things kind of play better as a cartoon than in live action, but. I'm okay with it. It was okay. Yeah, it was great. I probably already know your answer. Uh, but did you guys think that she did a good job as playing Belle, uh, Emma Watson? I think she did. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, her singing was on point. She's very pretty. <laughs> and, I, yeah, I think it was awesome. The casting for it was pretty top-notch. Interesting. First Disney crush, Mary Poppins. <laughs> Second Disney crush, Belle. <laughs> wow. That's so random. Emma Watson, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> she did a great job. Her voice was great. They changed the tempo on some of the songs, but she was she's just she's my live action Belle now. I'm I'm you know you were you were cute as Harmony, but now you just leveled up to like oh. That's interesting that you said that because <laughs> honestly I didn't think she was cute enough. Oh. Honestly, like I said, it's one of you my. You should have said that in the intro. I would have elbowed you. My... <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like my second favorite, I guess princess yeah. and she just didn't do it for me um she looked like there was some uh, actually when they're going through the she's walking through the whole city there was a couple girls i thought were prettier than her maybe they couldn't sing as well but i thought there were a couple girls that were prettier than her but that's just me personally her acting i thought she did a good job yeah but i don't know i wanted someone that's a little more well uh, did you ever see that movie huntsman like Snow White and the Huntsman? Yes, it is. And what did you think about Snow White? I don't remember what she looked like. Exactly. She always looks the same. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's so long ago, I don't remember. And I didn't watch part two, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah well, but like, on the um, Once Upon a Time the show, mm -hmm. Snow White, I thought she just wasn't that 
she wasn't that pretty to me. She was cool, mm -hmm. but when I think of Snow White, I just think of something that's just, a, I don't know, better than that. I don't know. Yeah. More youthful. She's even kind of older. I don't know. I guess I have in my mind, there's nothing prettier than cartoons, I guess. So Yeah, the cartoons, you know, it's hard to beat. Uh, <laughs> was this a good representation of the Beast? Oh. Something you wanted to see. I was really taken back on that one. I mean, the <laughs> CG on it was, like, really cool. Um, yeah, I thought it was really cool. Like, the size proportions of him and everything and what they did with his horns. Like, literally, if you were to take the cartoon and put it, like, pretty close, I was like... Take it back. I thought it was great. I was a little iffy at first, but when I saw him in action, um, I actually thought, it, it, when I first met him, it was interesting because his reactions were, instead of the slow reactions you got in the movie, he was very fast-paced, like just jittery. Like, and it, At first, I was like, I don't know if I like it or not, but it fell along with his character. It's almost like I kind of fell in love with this character as I went on who he was and how he was represented. So yeah, I actually was really, I really appreciated it. Yeah, it's cool. I, I did like him. I didn't love him, but I liked him. I thought that there were some things I could have did better. Um, as far as like, I think some of his soft side seemed to come out pretty quick for me, and I feel like it didn't, it shouldn't have happened that quick. But overall, I was impressed with the CG. CG was really good. So what do you guys think about the the graphics? You know, we got new the candlestick, we got you know new uh, Tupperware and things like that, or silver <laughs> Tupperware, silverware, <Yeah. laughs> rubber made. <laughs> but what did you guys think about the graphics? The graphics that they showed us. Yeah, I thought that uh, they were pretty cool on some elements. Like we were saying, the beast was pretty dope. But um, I think that. Comparing it to, and I have to compare it to the um, cartoon animation, right. I think that we lost a lot of the facial expression within the um, candlestick and the clock more specifically because, I mean, you know, their eyes, we don't see that a lot, especially in the candlestick lumiere. Um, it's just kind of uh, indentations or, or, you know, um, details on the candlestick itself. So for me, it was, it, it kind of failed. Uh, not completely, it didn't take away from it, but it wasn't where I would have wanted to be. You I mean, know, it was still I, fun. It was it was completely fun. It was cool. I can see pretty much for the most part of it, but um, yeah, they could have done better. Yeah, you know, I really like the graphics a lot. Um, I, one of my favorite scenes is when they did Be Our Guest and the dancing and the plates and everything. Just everything was awesome. The fact that they got all that silverware to compile and make that was great. I do completely agree with you. I feel like we did lose a lot of that um, because usually like the eyes are very, very emotional. And uh, the original design of Lumiere, where it was cut off at the middle piece and the candle wick made the mouth, it like we lost a lot of that really fun, fun characteristic. And you know, I think Mr. Uh, Mrs. Potts and and, and um, Chip had they had the animated eyes, which gave us a little more expression. So I felt that they were a little more expressive because I could see their eyes. Um, but I will say they did make up for it in movement with the music. When they did be our guest, mm -hmm. you really felt Lumiere. Well, not too much Cogsworth. He doesn't move much, but yeah, I, I, I think that's where I sit with it. Yeah. That's interesting sure you say that because I did not like the pots and uh, chip, chip. chip. I didn't like them as, <laughs> I, I don't know, I felt like it was kind of lazy the way they just drew their eyes with pencil yeah. and made it move. I don't know. <laughs> it was kind of weird, but I guess glass doesn't have hinges from a for mouth like i don't know it just excuses it's not good <laughs> it's not good it could have been better they were more creative with the clock because of the gears and whatnot they have i get it they got but i mean using the painting that they did with the uh, mrs potts and chip i mean it, it was nah yeah I mean, those are just nitpicks we we're not saying it's bad because of that but no, not at we, all we're comparing it to our favorite child disney movie so yeah. what are you gonna give us yeah, yeah. I, that Watch the movie like a hundred times on VHS, so yeah, VHS, <laughs> all right? So we're, this, this is where we're coming from here. Um, so you brought the music. Um, how was the music? You know, they, they changed the tempo on a lot of songs. So like when, they, when I was like sitting there, I'm like, in, I'm sitting in the theater being like, oh, no one's watching me because I'm kind of singing along with these things right now. <laughs> um, but uh, when they changed the tempo, it threw things off and they changed some of the lyrics and the way they did. But I was okay with it. I, I had fun. It took me back to the movie. It took me back when I watched the play and I'm sitting there like, be your guest. Yeah, yeah right. totally. <laughs> totally. Uh, I'm sorry, LeFou is great. He's like, gosh, it disturbs me to see. It's, just, it's good. I had a good time with it. So it I enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah. And, I, I'm, I'm watching. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she did good. Yeah, yeah, I loved her as well. The songs and just, I mean, I, 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 yeah, I really like love Yeah, like the her. very beginning, it's like, <laughs> everybody coming up to say, and then I was like, bonjour. You know, I was yeah, like, yeah, I was like, right. <laughs> bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Yeah. Yeah, I like the music. I liked from from start to finish, actually. Oh, gosh, and I like how they gave some original 
uh, music too. You know, like Beast got his own song. Yeah. They got a couple new songs in there. Yeah. Kind of like that one. I, I liked yeah. it a lot. Yeah. yeah. So I thought it was pretty good. Um, I like that they uh, they brought like like the piano. He has his own little thing that he mm -hmm. does. I don't remember a piano in the original one. No, it was so, a piano. Yeah, there was, piano. right? Um, oh, it was? Well, actually, you know what? I think there was a piano, but I think they more or less, uh, they substituted the piano for the stove. Because the stove was a bigger mm -hmm. part in the original animated movie, too. Mm -hmm. We didn't so, get much of stuff. I liked it. I, I thought it was great musically. Like I feel like kids will just have fun oh, yeah. watching it. Was there anything that you guys felt that didn't transition well from the cartoon into live action? Because they did everything pretty on point. I thought everything was pretty accurate. But I felt like some things just didn't translate well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of got that sense with the dad, mostly. Mm, um, the dad, yeah. Maurice, you know, like... The, the dad, he was so much of a character, chubby little fat guy, you know, the old, <laughs> old guy, but like he's like an inventor, you know, and I, I didn't really get that sense of that, but they gave us like, you know, a different twist on the dad. But he's more like know? a tinkerer. Yeah, he's more of a tinkerer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was expecting for him to make that one wood chopping machine <laughs> like <laughs> right. that. I was like, where is it? Where is Crazy it? contraption, and, yeah, you know, right. but it, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm cool with it, you know. But so they did give you the uh, washer machine. They did. But yeah. they didn't attest it to him, though. I would have liked them yeah. to say this is one of his inventions. Right. Yeah, yeah, but maybe it was Bell is technically invented yeah, it. Yeah, it was Bell. Know? I actually like that. I like that she was also, she was taking after him. Right. I thought that was cool. Um, yeah, I do agree that Dad could have had more character, and, and Kevin Klein, he's actually a really good actor, so I'm surprised oh, he didn't, he didn't yeah. illuminate that character a little bit more. Um, yeah. But the, I, I will say, probably the only scene that I had a problem with uh, was um, the, the last fight scene, because that was very iconic for me in the animated movie, because, you know, it was, you know, seeing, seeing the gargoyle covet as a gargoyle, and seeing them actually go at each other, mm -hmm. I wanted to see a little of those darker elements mixed in with it, and then... You know, when he's like, you know, he's like, Bell, I'm coming. Like, no, no, he just, you saw her and you went. You didn't even say nothing. And, like, yeah. I wanted that connection and that last, like, reach up and touch. And then, he, you know, Gaston was using the gun, not the bow. And they had the bow. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was yeah. just like, there's little things like that. I was just like, it would have been a little bit more for me at that end battle scene for that. Oh, man. You know, it had to have an arrow sticking out of him. But maybe they didn't do that on purpose. I know? mean, it's a PG, well, it's, yeah. a, it's a PG movie, right? I know, but yeah. the cartoon can't be better than the live action though. Because the cartoon is more for kids. Right. Yeah. So if it's more graphic than or more dramatic than the live, it's kinda like, oh you guys kinda drop the ball there. Yeah. And I kinda I agree with you. Yeah. Even though I did like the, the ending scene because I did like those shots. Yeah. I was laughing. I think I was the only one who <laughs> did it laughing. Everyone's crying like no <laughs> <laughs> He's like oh I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> But the scene when he when the beast is fighting the wolves could have been so oh, much better. I think so. Had yeah. a way better opportunity to actually show how vicious he was. Yeah. But they didn't. Yeah. yeah. Well, like in the animated movie, like that's one part I was waiting for too. Like some of the fight scenes when he grabs the wolf and pulls it up and he goes, Rah! like you know he did it at the end where he just roared at him. But like that gripping of the wolf and like I own you. Yeah. Right. They didn't give him that dominance. And I, 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 I really that. think that like the reason that they left these iconic moments out because I was waiting for that too. Yeah. And I, I don't think they wanted to like scare these children that are going to the it's movie the theaters. Beast. <laughs> yeah, but I mean like like okay, I don't want to get my kids nightmares. Can I go take them to see this? You know, I get it. I get it. <laughs> but be nice. I, there are sensitive kids, and you're taking them to see a Disney movie. If know? it worked for kids in the '50s or wherever this came out, listen, that's why we're a little bit more hard. You know? It should work for the kids now because now are a little kids soft watching everything. <laughs> so, what would you guys rate the movie? If you had to rate it, and you had to yeah. recommend it, recommending it, highly rated. I highly recommend this movie. You know, if. You know, I, I remember being in the theater with my whole family watching the original one, and it took me back to that, you know, watching this whole scene. If I had to rate it, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And I saw it, I, see, I did see it twice, for sure. Yeah. I saw it twice already. I saw it twice? You loved it! <laughs> loved it. It was great. Um, you know, I, I really enjoyed this movie. I'm going to go watch it again. I might watch it a couple times. Um, just like Moana. Moana had me too, and I watched Moana Thank like you. six times. Wow. Um, yeah, it was a really good movie. So Disney, you're, you're 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 catching me right now. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I I'm gonna give this a nine as well. I really enjoyed it. Of course, there were some things that were missing, but I can always go to the animated film. And in comparison to all three that I've seen, the the, the animated, the, the the play, and then this live action, they're all fantastic. I yeah. I, I don't have much to complain. I want to give it a ten 
but it, you know, the, the animated film's gonna get the ten no matter what. So yeah, I, <laughs> I can beauty. I'm sorry, I animated just, the ten. I, yeah. I, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna toss this in there. The narration. I missed the older voice in the animated movie. I think that was one thing that got me. I did not like the um, the uh, female's voice as a narration. It wasn't as impactful because when you watch the original animated film, like, you know, he says, and, and the spell was forgotten. You know, he had that cotton. Like, that kind of like, sorry, I know it's weird, but that, <laughs> that audio it. was very important and impacting for the storytelling element. So that was one thing that... In the beginning, I was like, it's not hitting me as hard, but that's okay. It's like hearing Morgan Freeman's <laughs> voice. Yeah, it's like, it's like... What did you guys think about, like, the, the added backstory we got, like, about her mom? Oh, you know what? Um, I love that because... And the witch. You, we, we never get a back, like, enough background of, like, any of these Disney characters' moms. None of them. Right. Absolutely none. They're mm -hmm. dead. Yeah. They're gone. It didn't Where'd work out. Where'd your mom go? Sick died. You know, Snow White, what happened with your mom? Oh, sick and died. And, uh, yeah. Aladdin, what happened with your mom? She got sick and died. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Batman, Superman, what happened to Martha's? Shot and died. Yeah. <laughs> we, all, we all got shot and died. And planet exploded. So, yeah, I appreciated the backstory with that. And it, it gave me more connection of the character to, from Belle and from Beast because both of their moms, sick and died. Just like the Marthas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely liked it a lot. Um, and I, I like that they actually tailed it. So they, they, she went there, she she understood what happened, and her and her dad got, a re got to reconcile. Oh, when they went there, I so thought it was going to be like one of those, I can show you. Yeah, or, I was like, I was like, watch, it's good. I didn't think it was going to go dark like that. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. I, I, I wanted him to do that. I wanted him to yeah. travel to the clouds. It's like, here's a book that the Enchantress gave us. Wherever you want to go in right, the world. Right. He's going to be like, I'm going to, let's take this carpet. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was that part was done. Yeah. That was great. Um, I did like that they, they actually gave us, you know, some type of story toward the Enchantress as well. Yeah, Like definitely. that she was in it. She didn't have any lines, but she was in it. Yeah. You know, she was actually not trying to be such a dick about him being a beast. <laughs> yeah. And she tried to help him out a little yeah, bit, you did. know? So, she did. Yeah. That was cool. I did like that. Yeah. And, you know, technically at the end of the movie, the, the, the curse was completed. They, he didn't do it in time. And she tossed him a bone at the end. She's like, all right, bro. All you right. maybe did. All right, you made it. <laughs> but I'll hook you up. This is the strongest <laughs> enchantress ever in the history of Everything. cinematic yeah. right? film. Like, she can bring people back alive. She can change yeah. it to a beast. Yeah. She can do all kinds of Wipe stuff. everyone's minds. Right. <laughs> right. Like, no Rebuild one castles. I'm like, golly, Gandalf, you need to step your game. Yeah. <laughs> she got you on hey, that. Hey, Gandalf yeah. was in there, and he was like, please take the wife away. <laughs> <laughs> Why she have to remember? That fire was funny. Uh, just uh, tidbit at the end where she's like, "Yo, can you grow a beard?" I'll be like, "Hey, man, kick that fruit of the curb. I already got one." <laughs> said, beard. I thought that was dope, actually, yeah. when she said that. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, like about "That's right, you want a man?" Yeah. <laughs> she's like, "Um, are you gonna be like this all the time, or like full moons? You gonna be the beast again?" <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it, but... Is it yeah, five o'clock yet? You got a five o'clock shadow in it. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is always just pretty. I think it's a great question that I thought of, and I'm a genius. Does okay. this replace the animated film, or like the cartoon, Never. for the next generation? Do oh. they need to go back to see that? <sighs> I thought they did a great job of depicting the story. You know what? I, I hope it brings to their attention. It, if these kids growing up nowadays didn't know about Beauty and the Beast, they know about it now. And I hope that they do go back. Who are these and, parents that don't show their kids Beauty and the Beast? I don't know. I don't know. What do you teach these kids? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, teach them some origin of, like, get some appreciation for the artwork of what made these movies and where they are today. You know? Yeah. You know, actually, I, th I feel it's going to do the same thing it did for me when I first watched... Um, because I love a lot of Disney movies, but Hunchback was probably one of my favorite visually, musically, and just everything. And I went and actually watched the original Black and White directly after that. Because I wanted to see where the story came from. So hopefully this will do the same thing where they'll watch this movie and be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And the parents could be like, oh yeah, Disney made a movie. Like, you know, oh really? And then maybe they'll go back. But I, I honestly hope that they go back to the original because it's, it's, it's amazing. Unfortunately, I don't think that just leaves any room to even want to go back to the original. I think if it just came on TV, they'd be like, oh, oh, this is the movie I saw in the theaters when I was a kid. <laughs> but I think that it did, did such a great job that this would just kind of replace, and there's not a lot of remakes that replace the originals. Yeah, it's still really They kind of suck. What do you want to talk about? They kind of suck. So, because 
It was dear to my heart. Yeah. I have it. I, I'm, yeah. I can say it. I'm a grown man. I have it in my in my shelf. It's a heart. Okay? It's a It's a small heart. It's a cold heart. No. It's not my favorite, <laughs> yeah. but it's up there. So I think, but I think that they did a great job, and I think that the kids, unfortunately, don't need to go back to see like the cartoon version. <gasps> unfortunately, you poked my heart saying yeah. that. Was that good? Was that good? And if I had to great. rate it, I'm gonna give it a nine. Just because there were some things that I felt like they held back on, which it didn't need to, that yeah. they could have made awesome. I would love to see that wolf scene way better. Yes. I would have liked the ending fight to be a little better. Oh, so good. And the dad, I don't know what they did with him, because yeah. I'm like, he's not crazy at all. No. Like, what's going on here? You got he's people, supposed to seem like the crazy old people man. People are vouching it, like, mm -hmm. son, did you try to kill Maurice? <laughs> <laughs> man? It's like, it's like, nah, man, nah, I mean, like, <laughs> Maurice, we're cool, right? Right. <laughs> and I will say, Luke Evans, he, you know, he did, uh, he did the new Dracula movie, uh, Dracula Untold, and he's done the, the Hobbit. I honestly feel he's a very underrated actor. He's oh, very, very good. He was in Immortals playing uh, Zeus, and I thought he was awesome. He was I think, he, I think he's great. Yeah, I really, I really he's hope. He's great stage presence. Yeah, I really yeah. hope for more from him because I really love Dracula and Told too. I just I wanted to toss that tidbit in there. That movie was great. Uh, I also got to tell you guys about a funny little story in the theater. Um, so I, I did watch it aside from you guys, and I'm sitting there, and there's there's moments in the movie where I'm sitting there just going like leaning back in my chair, and I'm getting really emotional. And this this lady next to me with, with her date like leans over and she's like, "Do you have a tissue?" I'm on. No, I'm all right. <laughs> wow. I'm admitting that on this video, but yeah, it was hilarious. I started laughing, and I'm sitting there just going like, "Wow." That didn't happen for me. <laughs> sure. It's just, it's got something in my eye. It was just one moment, okay? I got a little, like, Ur. I was like, all right. Touchy. So, at least for the question of the day. Uh -oh. yes. Should they do more live action movies of these classic cartoons that all we of them. grew up on? <laughs> do them all. Every single one of them. Let us know what you guys think. Should they be doing these? I'm okay with it. Yes. I think so they've been far. trying. I think this is my favorite one so far because they've done Alice in Wonderland, Snow White, and they try to take a whole new toll on them, but. This felt so they much better. They got it right. It's just yeah. kind of, it's, it's a formula. You got to build up the, the only one I can't imagine how they would even execute would be Aladdin because Robin Williams made that movie. Oh, yeah. With, no. With, I mean, Genie. And I mean, over. Yeah. I, I, no. I don't know. I, I can't imagine them do it. I just, yeah. There's no actor that can do it. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I can't remotely. He no. made it. He made it for me. He did he, it. He's just. It's just voiceover. Whatever he did in the uh, the cartoon version, they're just gonna ha they're gonna have to do that. that. See, they'll the have only to. way they'll make yeah. it work is if they do that. If it's like an honor memorial, pull back those old uh, audio files audio, and, yeah. and bring them back in. If they do that, then maybe it has a chance. Or maybe they'll yeah. never touch that one. Maybe it won't yeah. happen. Let us know what you guys think. Should they be doing that? Put that in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I said that already, right? Yeah, it did. <laughs> All right. All right, so. You know what to do. You know what to do. Go ahead and do that. All right. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. I'm uh -huh. Christopher the Conch. And we're out, baby. Peace. 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 Peace.